Hello buddy, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. And uh, I did end up finding that um, I had stuff to do during the day. Well, I didn't have stuff to do, but I couldn't record, but I could still play. Uh, so I did in fact decide uh, I would upgrade a few weapons. I wanted to I wanted to have a look and test out different things. Uh, particularly as we, now that we're getting towards the late stages of the game. The Crystal Asaurus Straight Sword looking pretty... Asaurus Great Sword looking very, very tasty at plus nine. Uh, particularly with the intelligence that we've got. Uh, now to get these up here... Uh, I did have to kill a fair amount of the big golden wing knights up in the Grand Archive Tower. Um, just so that I could get some Titanite chunks because they drop them quite well as long as you're wearing the uh, gold serpent ring. This has resulted in me having a large amount of souls to use, which we're going to do now. Um, and I'm going to go with extra endurance. And I want this up to 60 so that we can actually start using some... Uh, more interesting abilities. Now if you look at the um, damage gain, I was looking at this uh, a while ago, but uh, if we actually start putting faith up, that's actually going to make our longsword do a lot more damage. And I think that's because it's chaos. Uh, I actually looked, and if essentially if we get this to 30 and 30, um, that is where it does its most damage. So I may look at making a chaos build, because that actually looks very, very tasty. Particularly as we can actually uh, then boost this as well uh, for even more damage. We could make our own kind of strange looking um quality build here where we kind of go with 30 30 40 40 um but we'll explore that later on uh but for now uh basically because kind of i've kind of set this build around aiming at sorceries although it's not really a sorcerer build or well it is now but uh <laughs> it hasn't been uh for the duration of the game uh, i want those two up basically. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and put the rest into achievement for now. Uh, we are probably going to respec a few times uh, before we finish the playthrough now. Uh, we are at now at the point where uh, we can consider, consider ourselves a fairly strong build. Um, so that's where we're going to go. Obviously that's left me with a considerable amount of souls left to use there. So we're going to go ahead and buy some new spells from Orbeck, who's going to give me his scroll. But, well, I need to give him a new scroll. So we've got the sorcerer scroll to give him. This is a crystal sorcery created by the pale dragon. Thought only to exist in legend. I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. Cool. So now we have some pretty nice looking sorceries in here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and buy some of this. Uh, Crystal Magic Weapon, a pretty strong um, spell to have there. Let's just make sure we've got one of everything. Let's just complete our repertoire of abilities here. There we go. That's pretty cool. And then... I mean, obviously I could save all these souls for later. But um, for now, I'm pretty happy with just uh, acquiring some stuff. I'm going to use some of these boss souls as well. Just because I keep on meaning to do it in between episodes. And then I think, oh, I wonder if people will actually want to see what we're doing with these boss souls. So let's, let's make use of some of them. Uh, I mean, I probably won't actually use them, but it's just kind of worth getting something out of them, I suppose. Oh. Uh, I didn't want White Dragon Breath. I actually want the Moonlight Great Sword. We're going to test that as well. Um, we've got Lothric's Holy Sword. That's from Soul of the Twin Princes. Okay, yeah. We're going to want this. I'm going to want this. I'm going to want this. Uh, I probably should get this. There should be two swords from these guys. Where's the other one? Yeah, Soul of the Twin Princes. So we need both of those. And I think if we get both of them, there's actually another sword we can make out of them. So uh, we're going to get the Prisoner's Chain, because that's pretty handy. Um... Not too bothered about no shields, got demons first, not bothered about that, not bothered about that, not bothered about that. Um, may get the Kefarian Greatsword, I've always hated its weapon art though. Um, fighting against it anyway. Um, Lorian's Blade, we've got the Greatsword. Uh, they're both kind of, well they're actually, that's actually got scaling and everything, that's interesting. Um, was that more expensive? I wonder why that is. I know we'll get it. We'll get it for now. Um, 
what else can we get? I mean, should we get all the weapons? Wolf Knight Greatsword. Fire and Greatsword. I've never used the... I've not really seen the Wolf Knight one very often. Interesting. Um, that'll do for now. We can always get some other stuff later on. Treat the fire. That's fine. Uh, let's go spend the rest of this on some pyromancies, I suppose. Oh. Don't know why it's decided it's going to uh, freak out on me there. Uh, precious pyromancies. Don't have you. Don't have you. Don't have you. Don't have you. There we go. Well, that kind of completes our list of abilities a bit better. Obviously, over the course of the next few episodes, we'll probably be getting a lot of this because uh, leveling now will take a lot longer. Uh, let's course, do it in between episodes, but we'll see. Okay, so, with all that done, it's time for us to go to the Arch Dragon Peak. Now, to reach the Arch Dragon Peak, we need to go... Where is it? Not that one. Yep, so it's the Irithal Dungeon Bonfire. Uh, we need to go to the lift uh, where we've got Lightning Blade a few episodes ago. Of, of course, I'm going to show that, um, so don't worry if you can't remember where that is. Uh, but essentially, we're going to progress down this way. Obviously, we've got the, the Jailer to be aware of. But I've not actually opened this yet. That's interesting when I think about it. Let's grab that. don't know if this is important. It's not a rusted gold coin. Who cares? I'm going to run past a load of this. I don't really care too much for it right now. See you all later. There we go. That worked rather nicely. Do 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 do. Onto the lift. Of course, that's where Lightning Blade was. And then down here. Uh, we need to use a gesture that we got uh, in one of the previous episodes. I can't remember where it was now, so let's switch. And it is... That one. Path of the Dragon, there we go. Uh, sit here for a second, and we should be taken over there. There we go. And away we go. Now, if I remember rightly, we should get a bonfire straight away here. So, uh, if you do get damaged by the jailers, that's not going to matter. Or do we stop back from here? I can't remember now. Um, either way, we're going to make our way up here. Uh, be careful of the enemies. They have kind of this weird grab attack that can just essentially reach over your shield uh, from quite a distance. Uh, which I'm sure you're probably going to see in a second. Uh, although I am probably going to abuse rapport now that I've realised how uh, effective it is. Oh, it didn't work on them. Interesting. Okay, that's put me in a bad position. There's the grab attack. Not that it really mattered there. And only dropping time on shots, that's a shame. I'm sure there's another one around this side, so let's just be careful here. Uh, this is probably a good time for me to actually switch to sorceries, which we may, may well do over the course of the episode. I do feel like there should be another one. Let's grab this. Then with bone, in case you want to get out of here. Uh, this lift doesn't really serve very much purpose, as far as I remember. I don't think we can do this yet. Nope. So it kind of serves as a shortcut back down here, but no real need for it. Uh, 
There we go. Right, let's bring you back here. Come on then. Quite easy to stagger them though, which is handy. And they drop lightning gems, that's worth knowing. Let's get up here. Let's have you. Seems their little Kopesh weapons can uh, penetrate shields. <coughs> We've got an enemy right there, look. Let's see if. Uh... Oh, that did... oh, it did work. That's enough. Come on in. There we are. That sorts you out. Boom. These guys falling like flies. That's good. Tiny that chunk. That's nice. That's more of what I was after. Uh, over this way. Yeah, here we go. Our first bonfire. Uh, and I think. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to tune for sorcery here. Um, more of a fan of great soul arrow uh, over the mo majority of these. Uh, so we're going to go with that. We'll have... I mean, Homing Soul Mass is pretty handy as well, so we'll have G1. And then... I mean, Soul Spear is good, but I don't know if it's 32 focus points good when the Great Heavy Soul Arrow is there. So let's have you at the end. And that's probably going to be enough, really. Uh, particularly for this area. Not really anything else that I'm desperate to use here. We've got a sorcery there. Oh, yeah, it's trust we could use that as well. Um, although I guess that's more PvP oriented because it's slower. Right. So that should be fine. Got a couple of projectiles there. Uh, as well as some nice spells. Obviously, we're going to need to change Catalyst. Um, so we've got Caught Sorcerer Staff plus 9. Again, got all those chunks with the Big Wing Knights. So that's why that's up to that standard. Um... I don't know, just might change the pace a little bit. Also, because of the shield that we've got, uh, we can just literally weapon on it straight without having to two hand it, which is handy. Um, ooh, we should change the rings as well. That would be handy. Pillow and Dragon Crest ring. Now, these spells probably aren't going to be all that effective, because uh, to really be effective with spells, um, you do need to kind of very, very heavily prep for that which I'll show shortly uh, but let's see how we're doing for damage at least this kind of means we've got multiple avenues of damage here oh it's doing pretty good though 300 a hit get out I'll take 300 a hit at that kind of rate of rate of fire there pretty nice Right, so heading back down this way, we should get the lightning clutch ring, I believe. I'm sure I was blocking there. Again, these guys are able to just get around your shields. Yeah, lightning clutch ring, that's good. And then we have kind of a weird... Um, I don't want to say boss fight, but it kind of is a boss fight. Uh, but it's more like uh, a one-off environmental environmental danger but we should be fine getting it sorted uh, let's go through here you want to start off walking really uh, you can hear the, the wings of the dragons so that's when you want to start running I'm going to run straight under its legs now of course you can do this the hard way go ahead and pick up items if you really want to but that's all going to wait for us uh, when we come on back around Okay, for these guys, we're going to get on past. We've got these two as well. Uh, you want to get out of this room because the dragon is going to breathe fire into there. And so it's at this point, if you're going to fight back, then it's best to actually fight back. Again, you need to be careful of the fire there. And if you're going to fight back, you need to make sure you get stuff killed. Um, otherwise, it's kind of worthless. Again, there are items around here to be picked up. I'm going to wait. 
careful up here because one of these kind of ninja dragons is going to drop down on us. Where is it? Oh, he pirated me. Ouch. Okay, at least he didn't put me through the floor. I didn't know they could do that. Cool. Okay. Suddenly I feel like sorcery has been improved. I'm pretty sure I didn't used to do that much damage. Let's get you down. There we go. Okay. Uh, and again, be aware that there are plenty of items around here. Uh, but we do want to deal with this dragon first. Um, and it is going to breathe fire up onto here. So we kind of want to get past this guy pretty quickly. Try not to get hit by his axe. That's the biggest real danger here. Obviously as well as the fire coming from behind us. Um, and the main emphasis really is just getting up onto this. As quickly as you can. Try not to get hit by too much. Uh, I think we're actually pretty lucky there. <laughs> what? Okay, it's never hit me up there like that before. That's extremely rare, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, so we can come down this way. Careful if it's bellow bellowing thingy there. Wait for it to accept you. Which it looks like it's going to. And we're going to go ahead. Plunge attack. And the ancient woman dies. There we go. And that kills it. I don't know what the significance of the bells is. I mean, I kind of know what they do, but... don't quite understand. Wow, lots of souls. That was lovely. That is, in fact, a level. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, going through here, you do need to be careful. Uh, that bell is going to continually summon enemies to attack us. Uh, to stop the bell, simply you run around this way and you need to kill the kind of weird looking dude that's ringing it. They're not particularly tough. Um, is this guy chasing me? I don't know who it's summoned. If it's Havel, we are dead. Well, no, it probably won't be dead, but it's going to hurt. Nope, it's not Havel. It's not so bad, it's simply a knight. Kind of the easiest of the three that it can summon. Uh, there are two that are actual characters, uh, and they are actually pretty tough. Whoa, not good. He's good with that sword. I don't know what sword that is. But it's fast, and it hits hard. Whoa. Although well, still, I stand by that the uh, Great Solo has been greatly improved. Take you down. These guys do drop considerable amounts of souls, so not too bad. It's dropped me a sword by the look of it, which is nice. Let's take a look at that. Lost the sword, that's not it. Claymore Drake Blood Great Sword. Okay, we're going to take a look at you. Because uh, that looked like it was doing pretty nice. It's like a fat. Oh! Okay, I kind of like the look of that. 89. It's probably quite low damage. Mm, well, uh, we'll give that a look at later. It's looking pretty nice. Solid across one, that's cool. Um, that's basically the boss room over there. Be careful in this fix. I think we can aggro enemies. Yes, yeah, so this is the boss room, so we'll be fighting in there later. Although you won't notice until you've actually finished the boss fight. Um, we need to. 
do the gesture again here. Can't remember what we get here. I think it's the Calamity Ring. Yeah, there we go. Uh, a few enemies out this way. I think it's another one of the ninja guards. Take a heal here. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, I know over here we've got some like kind of Goron style creature that wants to try and knock you off. Cross got Titan Scale as well. I think they actually dropped Titan Scales. We've got quite a lot of those now. Titan Scale. Where is the other one? You know what? It's the first time I've noticed we could drop down onto there. Ha! Not that's really important. We're going to be heading out this way anyway. Um. Which kind of makes it a convenient place to be right now. So let's do that. Is there an item on here? I can't remember now. Don't think there is. In fact, yeah, there is. We've missed an item. No, that's on the other side. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I have missed missed an item. Uh, but we need to come back down here anyway because there's a kind of like a route of drop-offs to go down there. So this kind of makes sense to do, actually. This will be fine. Over this way. I can't remember what this is now. May just be souls. Twenty Titanite, that works for me. Right, down the ladder. Um you don't drop off there. So I'll drop off here. And then I'm gonna drop off here. Uh, obviously, Silver Cat Ring can save you some uh, some health here, but it's not really going to matter too much. Drop off here. Not there. Yeah, not there. I think we'll get knocked off there. Off this way. Oh, no, so there isn't actually an enemy. I thought there was. I don't know why. Uh, cool. Obviously, now that we're here, we might as well rest at this bonfire. I think. Well, these enemies have, have stayed cleared, so let's take advantage. How many enemies have we cleared? Nah. No, we'll be fine. We'll uh, rest at the bonfire. I reckon probably better off getting full Estus at this point. So we're going to do that. You are growing on me. It is. I'm gonna rest. See ya. Works for me. I guess that's do a sprint. Ah, I missed an item. I guess we should sort that. Okay, so let's keep on going to the side. Obviously, we go to the side here because otherwise, um, these little dragon slash rake dudes will uh, aggro on us. Try to ambush us. Whereas this way around, we get to ambush them, which is always better. I'm about to get that off. It's not what I want at all. I'll take that. He moved. He knew it was coming. Backstab! Oh, I didn't get me. Oh, I thought I was going to get you then. Never mind. Wow. It's not letting me stand back up. Get down. Ancient Dragon Great Shield. Probably worth getting, really. I would have uh, regretted missing that. Although I would have never noticed until somebody told me in the comments. And then I'd be like, I'm sorry, guys. It's my bad. Cool. So with the big dragon out of the way, we can now uh, go ahead and collect items. Uh, the bell doesn't really have any significance, which is a shame. Kind of always felt like it should have done more. Ember. More ember. And then over this way, quite cleverly hidden, we have uh, a pretty good ring. 
I, th I think, anyway, particularly if uh, you want physical defense but don't have much weight for it, because this is ba that's basically what it gives you. Um, so, you know, if you feel like you need more physical defense, this is a good way to get some. Let's take a look at it. So let's compare it to anything that isn't that. Uh, there it is. The ring still protection. Uh, there you go. You can see the absorption there all rises by about seven, which is pretty good. So a uh, nice way to uh, tank more damage. Well, that's only physical damage, so be aware, aware of that. Somebody's using uh, any form of elemental, it's not going to affect that. Never tested it in PvP to see just how much daft difference that makes. And then we have Large Ember. It's finished. That was quite a cool move. Ninja Dragons. Obviously, now that we don't have a dragon uh, trying to breathe fire all over us, we can actually take our time around here and grab all the items. Um, most prominently is this way. There's a drop off. There's a thing somewhere. Where is it? There's, a, there's like a balcony thing. I'm sure it's not this one. Let's check this side there. Don't think I've ever been this side. No, nothing over there. Cool, carrying on through. And again, because of the, because of the ring that I've got, topping off to full health, always a good idea for me. Oh, although as soon as I get hit by something, I kind of lose the benefit, which is a shame. Tiny chunk, always handy. Ah, this is what I was thinking about. Look, there's a ladder. What is it? Twinkling tight night, that's handy. Yep, up this way we're gonna get the two ninja dudes that wanna ambush me. Bushwhackers. Pretty good damage from the home saw mass as well, that's nice. speed on that is crazy. It's like they just flick a knife at you and it does damage. <laughs> right, there we go. This way. Now, of course, all the stuff we're clearing now, we could have done under the uh, pressure of the dragon, but uh, I just prefer doing it this way around. Careful those grab attacks. You want to try and make sure you get under them. Two down. Two down the side. Cool, if you're not going to attack, I'll attack you. Uh, two different ways around here. You can go around the outside, but you'll get um, fired upon. Which is what we're going to try to avoid here. Let's top this up. Range on it. Let's go out of its way. Come on then. Size of that axe is crazy. What are you doing? Oh, I've aggroed Mr. Flames now. Roll straight into that fire. That's it, come around there, that's better. Come on. What are you doing? There we go. Ouch, what's that that's come across? 
That's not good. Now we've got two of them. One of which has a crazy axe on a chain. This is where I'm glad that I've got range. Whoa! The range on that is always obnoxious. Alright, let's get under you. Ouch. Always frustrates me that I can't backstab those. Got that. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if you can get that weapon off of them. That would be kind of cool, I suppose. Long sword, though. Always does its job. That guy is still probably going to be aggroed on me and sending fire over. No, he's not. That's fine. Let's carry on around. Most of the threat around here now taken care of. Just got the two kind of fireball breathers giving us the trouble. Can't remember what's up here now. I think we've got a Titanite chunk somewhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. There we go, that's you down. Large shards dropping like candy, which is nice. Well, Mr. Fiery. What? Talk about covering fire. Alright, what else we got? It's a little drop off of the nothing down there. Nothing down there. I'm sure there's something else. There you go, got some lightning bolts. Should give you a clue as to what these guys are weak to, really. Um, okay, cool. And there's not really much across the bridge, I don't think. But um, no real reason not to cross it now, being as we've killed kind of the bigger threat. Which makes it pretty good. Oh, he's coming for it close to close, is he? Whoa. This mage ain't afraid of close combat. Well, sure, I saw an item over here. Clearly not, though. And then we're basically back all the way around. So we've come full circle. Boom. And again, heading in here, we are going to need to uh, take a bypass. Oh wow, he came up in different places than we used to. Let's get you down. Take your minion on. Now be aware, if you don't take on this dude ringing the bell, uh, it will continually summon these guys. Ouch. Whoa. And I, am gonna, and I am gonna have to reset this at least once more just to kind of get all of my heals back, which is a shame. Don't know what you're trying to do, but it's painful. <laughs> get out. Quite happy with how great Solar Arrow is performing for me, it's nice. Um, let's just double check where everything is and if there's anything else that I need to collect before we rest. I know there is another ninja dude somewhere. Not this way. Uh, that's how we came in. That's the bonfire. That's the path progression. Ninja guy. That's who I was looking for. Got two. I was just using the back step to my advantage there. Eat my blade. Souls are mounting nicely, which is good. Right. 
That's the lift down I was telling you about earlier. Uh, kind of a pointless shortcut if I'm honest. Uh, but that takes you back down to where the first bonfire was. Really don't see the use in it. Or maybe it rep represents some kind of escape route. I don't know. Uh, so that's everything for the first round then. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go and use these souls up just because why not. And I think I'm tempted to get soul greatsword attuned. If we have that available. Which we do. Big fan of soul greatsword. It's actually quite nice. I'm going to put that on instead of great heavy sword. Alright. I'll grab you on like that. Uh, travel back to Fire Link. We're going to use these souls up. I don't know what I'm going to spend one though. Hmm. What do I want to level? Tempted to go into uh, into faith, create kind of a I don't know. Well, it is a pyromancy build mainly, but uh, just more of a dark build. Let's get some of that stuff on the go, maybe. Oh no, don't use that. I guess I'm probably not actually going to get two levels out of this, which is a shame. Let's go and sell these a little quicker. Out over this way. Yeah, a little bit under two levels, that's a shame. I could go ahead and sell like a load of embers, but I prefer not to. Where are you, Fine Shrine Lady? Give me that level. Um, yeah, really hesitant to go put in health just because of how little we get. Obviously, we could, and it does add survivability, but meh. Whereas that's like almost an extra soul arrow, which is like quantifiably better in my opinion uh, or that which adds three damage a hit so pretty cool as well um, that does very little I imagine let's go with the achievement for now safest option we get achievement to 30 that's going to get us the extra slot and then I think from there we are going to power up faith uh, to no end, <clears throat> which is going to have this longsword, at the very least, doing some crazy damage. Particularly for such a small weapon. Um, and I guess as well, what, oh, the other thing we could, could attune is a pestle mercury. It's going to be pretty handy later on, I think. Um, we have like a dragon enemy, and I reckon that would be pretty strong on it. So, back to the Dragonkin Mausoleum. Where we can carry on our journey. Um, probably should start at the beginning. This place is totally optional. <laughs> Whoopsie. Cool, so we're going to head straight around here. Don't actually know how far this can. I'll chase you either if you try and run off without facing him. Whoops. Kind of seems like we have pretty good dark resistance as well, naturally here. Which is good. Where has he gone? There he is. Let's see how this does. Pretty decent damage. Not as good as I would like, but not bad. Take a heal quick. Yeah. Ooh, took reduced damage there. Wow. Guy's got like unlimited stamina. Let's deal with you. Weird how he was like protected on his weapon art. I didn't think you got protection for that. Let's have you down. See ya! Um, yeah, we get to head around this way. A few fairly nasty enemies down here, so be careful. There's an ambush on the left. Is it this left? I can't remember now. There definitely is one. Here it is. Look. Of course, this is where Salt Greatsword comes in handy. What? Through the wall? And you still haven't even aggroed. There we go, that's what should have happened. <laughs> Come on then. Are you coming? Probably should start the, wearing the Ring of Favour soon as well, I suppose. Let's get this back up. 
I love how long this lasts. I can cast this so many times. Okay. Wow, oh, did actually take your stamina quite far down then. That's good. Uh, coming around here, you need to know about this guy. We are going to drop attack on. There we go. Uh, essentially, we're going to quickly come around here where there's a ladder. Uh, as you can see, we've got another big guy over that way. It's waiting to ambush us. However, we're going to get the drop on him. I like how they put little bits in like this where you can actually trick it. Um, I wish there was more interactions with the game like this. Sometimes. Where, you know, you can just take a bit of situational awareness. And... Uh, Kind of take his advantage. Now I think we can actually just go across that way without actually without having to fight him. But uh, I don't like relying on uh, methods like that. Where's he gone? There he is. So of course we're not actually going to drop attack him. We're just going to wind him up because he can't actually get up here. Come on. Can we reach over it? Can we reach over it? Yeah. Go. That works lovely for me, just in case. Tart chunk on there. I'm sure I can hear something moving. I don't want anything sneaking up behind me while I'm going across this bridge. Hello. Well dodged, sir. Let's have you down. He's going for the grab attack there. Be careful of that. Looks like you're going for the parry. Not having that. I hate the speed of your attacks. Truly, truly, truly. Alright. Clears in here out, I think. Yes. See, glad I came and cleared that because they would have probably ran out after me. So, next. We go across the bridge. Don't think this one moves or anything, so not too bad. Da, 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 da. There we go. You can hear a crystal lizard. No doubt that's going to be a trap. But I'll take whatever it drops. There we are. Now we'll pay attention to this little rock just here because we're going to be using it in a second. Uh, don't. Th this is a mimic. You can tell it's a mimic because it has a lock. So, we all know what happens to these. Come on. Hey, be a good mimic. Get poisoned. I can see that you are. No, it's not. It's not a mimic. That's interesting. That's very interesting. That's a very different one. Uh, any case, carry on now. Uh, 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 yeah, we're all good for everything. You can't really see it coming, but there is a dragon on its way. Careful of this little guy. They don't really do much damage. Um, however, they do kind of knock you off. So they can be quite annoying. But if I remember rightly, they're quite easily staggered, so you can wail on them. But generally, I run past them. I'm just not doing it here because this is where they're the most dangerous, and we have a fairly dangerous enemy on its way. I don't want these interfering. Damn it. Oh man, put it from the side. Big fat dragon turtles. Okay, so this looks all nice and clear until you see that big shadow. At which point, I'm going to head here. And I should. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, it would appear they've changed his 
behavior slightly. There you go, so we can now see him. Come on. He doesn't usually go off like that. Whoop, that's not what I want to see. Ouch. There we go. That was exactly what I wanted. Cool, thank you. And I'm just going to bomb him to death. Now, I'm sure there are probably quicker methods than this. Um, but I'm quite happy with this one. Let's wait for the stamina to recharge there. There we go. Which is the only real thing that slows this down. Quite enjoying the size of the stamina bar right now. Uh, this guy will drop a crazy amount of upgrade stones, which is why he's so worth defeating. Yeah, I've actually got more focus points than I myself usually advise people. Um, but that's all food for the respec. Probably, t probably be pulling some points out of vitality as well. So this build is probably going to go quite dark uh, slash pyromancy based. But uh, we'll see how it goes. That's him down. There we go. Complete with enough souls for one more level. Now, of course, be careful, because at this point, if you have done this all in one go like me, um, there's an entire possibility of running low on uh, curatives, shall we say. Uh, be careful coming up here, because these guys are going to try and roll down uh, and, in general, knock you off, slash trap you, and, in general, make your life not pleasant. Uh, however, we are going to literally ignore them. There's just very little value in fighting them. Uh, and whilst we are in this state, the same can be said about this room as well. Uh, the guy that this person summons is Ricard. Uh, entirely worth defeating because he has a very, very nice rapier. Uh, but before we do anything like that, we're going to go ahead and tag this. The rest of the bonfire. For a nice refresh. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and like fully add power. So the weapon art for this weapon actually increases the damage of the sorceries uh, which is kind of handy. Quite a nice alpha strike on that guy. Probably shouldn't have done that really. I do actually need him to summon his dude. That was kind of silly. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so the boss fight for this area is down there. Uh, we basically you know I've never noticed that it doesn't have the storm stuff down there already. I wonder if we die if we drop off there. That's interesting. In any case, to activate the boss fight, we simply bring this. I shouldn't have done this, really. Cool, that makes everything all scary. There we are. Um, so that's the boss fight ready. We're not going that way yet, though. We still have things to do. Uh, we're down this way. We should have Hawkwood's summon. Yes. Now don't get too excited. Uh, the unfortunate truth is he's not actually going to join us in the boss fight. He's simply here 
uh, to help us defeat all of these dragons that we've got around here. So, uh, use him as you will. Obviously, uh, if he does... Whoa! They're catching me with those parries so bad. Where'd Hawk would go? I don't know where he's gone. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Surely something Hawkwood can't fail, right? Uh, uh, continue game. That's very strange. Let's try resting. I wonder if it's because we've uh, rung the bell too early. I bet that's what it is. Oh well, I guess we'll just do it on our own then. That's fine. I guess just be aware of that. Is that you down? Where's the other one? Not be aware because there are a lot of them. I can hear something moving. Uh, I do have something to collect down here. What is it? I can't remember. Is there something in there? I'm pretty sure this is a trap. We're going to get attacked in here. It's something that we saw earlier, isn't it? Oh, I've got an ember. Cool. Uh, I kind of like the Lothric Bridge. Uh, we'll have enemies that start periodically trying to march down here. Uh, and we've actually got another set of enemies up this way, which we're going to deal with first, just because we're kind of more local to them. Uh, that noise is obviously... We've got another one of these Goron dudes. Just go ahead and knock him off. And then prepare for a long drawn out fight up here. We'll go back we'll come back down. In fact no, we'll get this chest now, otherwise that's gonna be annoying. Grab that, turn the time out. Uh, and up here we have a pretty long drawn out fight with Havel. Uh, for those who don't know, Havel is uh, kind of a hallmark character in the game now. Uh, it was pretty cool in uh, Dark Souls 1. Uh, so he's always and um, constantly making special guest appearances. He's pretty slow, so I'm actually going to take advantage of uh, Pestilent Mercury here. Which actually works on him like a treat. Working on him, lovely. Sorry, I'm just gonna crap all over you. Come on, keep going this way. There we go. So it's usually a really long fight. Personal Mercury absolutely decimates him. That's great. Extra time at slab. Always handy. Uh, probably one of, I think it's the only resource that's kind of limited uh, on a per playthrough basis. I've got drops for, drop down over on this side. I'm going to use the cat ring here just because. Caution. Where is it? I think it's a miracle. Where is it? Should be an item around here somewhere. There we are. Great magic barrier. Uh, which I think, yeah, is like a, is a miracle one. Um, instead of running past everything, we are just going to... Uh, I guess you call it homeward boning still. We're going to homeward bone back to the original bonfire. Cool. And then obviously this time again, head on back out this way. I find it really strange we can't summon Hawkwood. Really, really strange. 
any case. Oh, no, you don't. Eat my damage. Whoa. Um, the cool thing about the weapon buffing is that uh, it actually works for weapon, weapon buffing. The staff buffing actually works for weapon buffs as well. So uh, if you are using uh, like a raw longsword still, uh, and you want to use crystal magic weapon, uh, which I think in total does more damage than using straight up like elemental one, uh, but just requires more maintenance. Obviously, the advantage there being, um, you know, you can buff the sword for extra damage. So quite cool. Let's get this guy down. Whoops, that's kind of the wrong one to use. Whoa. Stop that, will we? Nope. This guy can just break through everything. Can we stagger him? Yeah, we can. Get him now. Uh, and as I was saying, there are a lot of these. Oh, if you're coming on your own, that's great. Let's get you further and further away from him. Come on. Finish him. Come on. Come on then, let's get you. There we go, that's you. It just seems to keep coming, it's crazy how many there are. Whoa. DPS definitely going to be handy against you. Ouch. Right, let's get behind this. Get you down. There we go. Another big guy to dust. Again, you want to try and make it so you're not fight, fighting too many of these at once. Otherwise, life is not going to go well for you. I think he's got the ranged chain thing. Which has crazy, crazy range. Let's get a bit closer, shall we? Get out. I don't know why you got invincible frames there. Uh, and I do highly recommend trying to get this done in one go. Um, just because obviously restarting this is a pain. Uh, there is something hiding around here somewhere as well. Here we go. There's one thing. There are more. Damn it. There's an item on one of these sides. I want to be careful because I don't want to get knocked off a ledge. There's nothing that would pain me more. I heard you. Oh, we don't like magic. We'll give you some of that. There you go. Dragon Tracer's Ashes, that's going to be useful. Some extra items from the Handmaiden. Right, let's not sprint in here. Don't trust that they're all dead yet. <laughs> I think that's everything. Cool. Uh, pretty sure we don't have to fight anything on the way up these steps. Uh, this is the last time they have to perform the uh, weird dragon pose thing. Just keep an eye behind ourselves, don't want to get snuck upon. There we go. That's that all sorted. Uh, so all that's left is to get Ricard's rapier from that summonable dude. And then we can face the boss. Right, so you need to summon your friend. Come on, do your little dingy dingy. No. Come on. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, it looks like Rickard. Uh, so I highly recommend not getting too close to him. Because his combos are outrageous. So we're just going to... Keep him at arm's length. And there's his rapier. Cool. Uh, so before we go into this boss fight, this is one of the fights that's probably one of the harder ones in the game. Uh, and this is a, a point where I say, feel absolutely free to bring in exterior help. Uh, I'm going to give it a go on my own anyway. Uh, I have done it on my own a few times. But if it happens to take loads of times, I may well actually give it in just to bring someone along for the ride. Um, you know, people shouldn't... I, I always feel people shouldn't be shy about, uh, you know, taking care particularly as there are actual covenant rewards requiring it so by giving co-op to people you are enabling them to get abilities which is obviously good Whoa. Uh, let's level up what am I going to want in this boss fight I am definitely going to want more focus points so let's have that um, how many points was it for a level again Need an extra twenty-four thousand. Ah, well. Let's see what we've got to sell first up. Uh, not a lot, apparently. Not that I want to sell anyway. Plenty of tiny chunks again now. That's good. Uh, loads of shards. That's nice. Uh, but not enough for me to bother selling stuff. So. Um. In any case. Before going into this boss fight, you should absolutely make sure that you are equipped to do what you want to do. So let's get rid of this. I'm probably going to take that off because I'm probably not going to spend much of my time at full health. Um, we should have a shield that has high lightning resistance. There we go. So we've got the Spirit Tree Crest Shield. That's going to be extremely handy. Um, what else have we got here? Because uh, this enemy is going to do a lot of lightning damage, uh, and that's going to be very damaging. So I highly recommend um, the lightning stone plate ring, which we just received. This is going to be pretty ha pretty handy for us, uh, and maybe even the ring of favor, just to kind of give ourselves extra breathing room in terms of health and um, stamina. The other option would be the young dragon ring but I don't think it gives us that big of a boost I mean it's good if you're gonna go like totally in for um, what am I trying to say if you go totally in for casting um, which you may well do for this boss fight it is gonna be one of those fights where we want to try and keep our enemy at range um, but we've got plenty enough focus points for that anyway and with decent fi uh, lightning resistance we shouldn't shouldn't and I say shouldn't <laughs> be too bad uh, but let's give it a go it's been a long time since I've faced this boss fight um, so this I may just get slaughtered if I do get slaughtered uh, then I am in fact going to take a nap and I will uh, finish this tomorrow obviously to you guys it'll look like the same um, same episode but uh, I'll just be cutting to me defeating this guy Let's give this a go then. So this guy is pretty cool. He has a great entrance and everything. Missing already. That's not good. Nice resistance there. Although it does take a lot of stamina. Uh, and as I thought, the damage is... Uh, good enough to be taking his health down in chomps. Come on then, land. Wow. The uh, lightning resistance there doing a great job. Don't want to spend too much time underneath it. Heal here. Ouch. He doesn't usually want to spend this much time next to me.
hate this move. I've never managed to dodge that move, ever. Shield here doing absolute wonders for me. Ouch. That however went straight through. That was a chance for free damage, but uh, I felt the heal was more important there. Oh, he's going to try and flame me. I think we need to run out of the way of that. Again, still couldn't dodge it. Let's take this quick. that. Uh, now at this point he is extremely lethal so do be careful that's gonna... no it didn't actually penetrate the shield. thought it was going to. He can penetrate your shield so be careful. Let's take a heal here. This will penetrate my shield. Whoa. Damn it. This aggression seems to have risen. I don't remember being this quite aggressive as aggressive last time I faced him. very much a fight about patience, which is unfortunate because I'm very, very impatient. No! The sprint there actually worked pretty well. Whoa, got me again. Playful. Oops. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Wow. These combos are really long. I don't remember being not th quite this long though. Ouch, again. I'm dead, I'm dead at this point. Oh, the shockwave thing got me. Oh well. Not bad for a first attempt, I guess, in a long time. We'll get back to this tomorrow. Um, I'll catch you in the cut, guys. See you in a bit.